Getting files to and from Buzzsaw is very simple, and there are a number of ways you, you can do that. Uh, if I want to download a drawing from a Buzzsaw folder, I can simply navigate to where the drawing is located, and I can use my, my uh, mouse and cursor to simply drag and drop it to my desktop, or I could have dropped this into a, a folder in my, uh, in my Windows Explorer. Now, to get a file up to Buzzsaw, you can also use this drag and drop method. In this case, I've got this uh, site dimension control plan. I've dragged it down to my desktop. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag it back to the folder. And you'll notice that the system will uh, give me a circle with a line through it which is indicating that that this is not an area that I can drop a folder uh, or a file but if I ho hover over a folder the icon will change to a drop icon and so when I let go of my left mouse button I'll uh, be presented with a add to project wizard or dialog it's a three-step project for documents Okay, the first step is to uh, select documents, and I've already done this uh, by, by selecting um, in the drag and drop method. I can add documents to this, so I don't have to add one document at a time. I can hit my browse button and browse my local computer for additional documents. And I could add, you know, as many documents as I wanted um, with this upload. The navigation to the next step is down below here. You hit the next button, and the second step is to attach a comment. Okay, and so what I might be doing here is I might be um, referencing a, a change, and so we can we can add this comment here. This is an optional step; you don't need to do this. I'll go ahead and put in a site plan change. added the water sprinkler locations okay and I'm going to go to the next step which is a, uh, a notification step and this will allow you to send an email notification to anybody that's participating on the project okay and the first thing you'll notice with this uh, is this paste comment button up above and what this will allow you to do is paste your comment from step two into your email subject and your text area and then you can add to that so I'm going to say please review thanks and I'll sign it now you've got a two button uh, carbon copy CC and then a blind CC uh, capability here and so when you hit these buttons I'm going to hit the two button here what Buzzsaw will do is present you with a list of all of the users and groups that are that have access and are working on this current project that we're in this JS project so I can add um, uh, to an entire group okay of consultants or I can expand the group here and I can add to certain individuals and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to just go ahead and add to a couple of individuals here to notify them about um, uh, this this change and now when I hit finish what the system is going to do is it's it's automatically recognizing that there is already a control plan that exists and it's asking me if I want to update or skip now what update will do is it will create a revision okay it'll save the old version okay or or I should say save the new version over the old version but we still have access to the old versions if we ever need to go back to them so you'll notice when when this file is is uploaded um, and then you select the uh, the plan in question which is uh, the plan we're working on here is the site dimension control okay you'll notice that um, you get a series of tabs here and one of them is a versions tab if I click on this versions tab you'll notice that um, this has been now updated with version 5 I'm the author and it's been date stamped okay today is July 13th 
and its date stamp in my comment is also placed here on the date stamp so that you don't necessarily have to open the drawing to see what was changed here if you just read my comment. Another way that you can add cont content or files to the site is to simply open a folder and select the Add drop-down from the toolbar. And you've got the option of adding a drawing, a document, a note, or a link. When you select Document, you just simply get the same upload dialog, okay? But it's blank here. There's no files yet. We need to browse for these files. So you can come to your... Um, your um, Windows Explorer and then select your your files that you want to add and this is where you can use your shift key and select more than one file and from here the process really is the same as drag and drop okay you've got the attach comment step which is optional and then the notification step which will allow you to notify your fellow project team members of new content or change content that you're adding to the site A third way to get files up onto Buzzsaw to share with your project team is to simply copy and paste them. So you'll notice I have this, this file on my desktop. I can right click it on from my desktop and select copy. And then I can go to wherever I want to place it in my, uh, on my Buzzsaw directory here. And I can right click on the folder and select paste. So copy and paste is uh, working with Buzzsaw. You notice that we've got this file located here and the system is uh, prompting me here with this uh, upload wizard which we should be familiar with now. The steps are the same. Attaching a comment and then uh, sending notification to your project team.